What's going on everybody? It's Nate here with Bring the Arms and I just wanted to officially get on here and um, make the first video introduction review video for you guys um, and just give you guys a little overview of what's to be expected and um, just a little rundown of everything so far um, and I just want to start by being appreciative of you guys and 2,500 subscribers. Um, it's a little number, but in my mind, it's a lot, and it means the most to me. Um, I couldn't appreciate you guys more for that. Um, other than that, I want to firstly apologize um, for the video, the editing, the, you know, this is my first video, so I'm going to do the best that I can for you guys. And um, in any way possible, if you guys can help me, just, you know, give me pointers, whatever the case may be. You know, um, we're all here to help each other in some way or another, and um, I'm sure you guys will have some things to say about my editing and my camera shots and stuff like that um you know the lighting probably isn't the best here right now but i'm gonna do the best with what i've got um and currently i'm just filming off of an iphone so we're gonna roll with it and um i'm gonna go ahead and get a tripod and a little gimbal mount for this stuff um this weekend because i'm gonna start getting into some more uh videos for you guys and some longer videos um but yeah, so far it's, I just, like I said, wanted to thank you guys and appreciate you guys to the moon and back. And uh, with that being said, I guess we'll get into today's video. And one more thing before we get into the video, if you guys like this video at any time, make sure you hit the subscribe button and definitely the like button and leave a comment down below what you guys thought about this video today. Um, thank you. Um, so first things first, this is one of my personal favorites, my new daily carry that I'm in love with a lot of people have been asking about this gun um what the make what the model is what the slide is and everything like that let's go ahead and just give her a clear real quick all right she's clear um so this is an adam's arms 19. um it is a full custom glock clone obviously made by adam's arms um and it's pretty bare bones there's not much to it other than um you know it's it's milled it's got I've got some plans for this ported barrel soon. Um, it's MOS cut, um, extended things. I threw a flashlight on it. It's got the apex trigger in it, a nice recoil spring. Um, and it also has a real nice threaded barrel. Um, yeah, I'll give you guys a little close up of it. Um, she's not pretty, but I'll tell you what, this is my black air force energy gun right here. So, you know, you know what time it is when this thing comes out. <laughs> this is my daily carry. I love this thing. It's gonna be a ported barrel soon in here, real soon. Um, I really didn't want to get rid of the threaded barrel, but obviously you can get threaded ported barrels. So I don't really know if I'm killing two birds with one stone there. Port and a comp. Would you guys be intrigued to see that? How much recoil stabilization we can actually get on a weapon? I don't know. I don't know if I've seen that. There's probably more than a lot of stuff out there for it like that already, but or a lot of videos like that already. But yeah. Um, other than that, I like that it has the nice knuckle guard. Let me take this flashlight off here so you guys can really see the uh, trigger well here. So I really like this big trigger well. I like how big it is. I got big, long fingers, lanky. I'm not gonna go into that. Um, but. I really like how big the well is. I like the squared off end here with the little nub, even though I can't grab it because there's a flashlight on the end of it, but it's just nice to have. It feels good in the hand and it's a nice pistol overall. It shoots pretty flat. Um, we're gonna get some range day videos here soon. We'll take everything out and we'll have some fun for you guys. I got a couple different um, things for you guys to check out. Uh, but other than that, I mean, yeah, this is it. Um, I'll go ahead and flip the camera around here and give you guys a little uh, another view of it Alrighty, so here she is in all of her glory My black air force energy um, Like I said, you know, it's plain bone You know, it's plain Jane. There's nothing crazy to it all one color, which is nice I like this and like I said, this is my everyday carry. I love this thing. This thing is a flat shooter without a port of barrel and I can't wait to get the port of one in there. Um, I like the incognito slide with nothing on it. Doesn't really say too much. Um, you can see Adam's arms there. It's a sweet touch. Um, same thing on the other side, AA-19. Um, 
And yeah, it's just a, a pretty nice gun. It's got really good slide serrations, feels really good in the hand, and it's definitely not as heavy as my other one. Um, and we'll get into that one here next in a little bit. Um, I'm just going to throw both of these reviews into one video and um, give you guys what you want to see because I know a lot of people have been asking about both of these guns. And um, I just want to get your guys' opinion on them um, in a full-length full, full length video. Uh, first video. So, yeah, she's a little wet. She's wet 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 that's how we like it that's how i like it at least so she ain't wet she ain't right one week later all right so it's been about a week since that last portion of the video was filmed um i was i had some things come up i had a new addition to the family come in um but we're just gonna jump right into finishing this up for you guys so the other pistol everybody was asking about was the lone wolf um or dust 19 um and this is my favorite right here this is my baby this thing is um i just love it um so it's got a 19 degree angle grip um it's made to feel kind of like a 1911 um it's got extended everything um uh well the lower at least is extended everything the upper is obviously is a fury precision upper a full is a fury precision upper um <clears throat> and my gunsmith shout out to Cabra Arms LLC for hooking me up with this sweet build um he's the one who uh actually ended up building this thing for me um and it came out amazing um beautiful small elegant I mean it's just a nice build overall threaded barrel the slide cuts they're aggressive they're nice they're beautiful um the high sights it's MOS cut you know um the whole nine it's just it's a good package deal and I got it for a solid price um I'm not going to disclose any of that obviously on here but um other than that it's just a beautiful gun so far um I've owned this one longer than I've owned the other one and I can tell you that I just I love this one but this is the one that I don't carry just because it's just too pretty it's too gucci I don't want to carry it um I just like the all blackout look for a carry, the, the nice clean look for a carry, but this thing is beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera around and give you guys a nice view of this thing in the backside. Um, and I'll show you this slide plate that I got for it. Um, I've actually had it since I got the gun. Um, it's just a little touch I added. Um, shout out to GHG Hustle as well for that. I'm gonna show you guys that some more here in a little bit, so. All right, here she is. It's very precision. Um, <clears throat> Lone Wolf, um, I want to say this is considered to be called the Dusk 19. That is the name of this one. Um, like I said, it's a Glock 19 clone, but it is just amazing. It's got their upgraded trigger in it. Um, it that thing is just, the flat face on it just is so beautiful and I love it. It's just, it's nice. It has a really nice pull on it and the wall is just it's it's just there it's a it's a decent trigger for sure um other than that you know the stippling feels nice i added the the thicker back strap back here for a nice thicker feel um and like i said it's got that 19 degree grip to make it feel like a 1911 i mean obviously it's not a 1911 but in the hand this thing feels you know you would just have to hold it you know what i mean i think it's a really cool addition that um lone wolf did with with this lower um it, it's pretty pretty nice um and i i love it um it's a fury precision you know they're to the point sometimes they're good sometimes they're bad um but i haven't had my bad with them yet at all um i've loved Safiri precision every single time that i've bought something from them and this whole upper here was just it's all it's just on the money i mean suppressor high sights mos cut threaded barrel fluted i mean it is just it's gorgeous you know it's definitely not my carry gun i can tell you that much right now um and here's that custom slide plate you guys know legally dangerous like i said shout out to ghg hustle um titanium that is so it's got a little weight but not too bad it actually feels really nice on the bottom and i really like it um but yeah this thing is just gorgeous i mean look at those slide cuts dude those things are just fucking, they are beautiful, man. So, yeah, that's it for the Dust 19. Um, this thing is, uh, like I said, Gucci to a certain extent. You know, it's it's my my point. 
of Gucci. I won't do anything else to it besides the sight. But um, as I said, um, with the Glock mags and stuff like that, you know, I've had to put a hold on a lot of things um, recently. Um, I haven't been able to get out a lot. I've just been trying to do a lot for the old lady and getting the house ready for the new addition. So um, I just want to appreciate you guys for being here um, and apologize for the video for <clears throat> taking as long as it did um, to get out to you guys. Um, I meant to have this video out long, long before I even tried to start posting shorts, but the shorts just kind of took off and to a point where um, I just kept on posting them. And um, I just wanted to thank you guys for, right now we're sitting at 2.49K, so we're right at 2.5 almost. Um, and I couldn't thank you guys uh, enough. Um, and with that being said, um, you guys can look out for more videos, more shorts, of course, more weapons. I'm always at gun shows. Um, you guys are asking, where am I buying? I don't do any printing. I don't do any of that stuff. That, No, sir. That is not on this end over here. I'm not on that end of the spectrum. All of this stuff I buy legally, and then it's bought with serial numbers, and everything is serialized. So all this stuff is off of their exact site, or in a gun show, or at a gun shop. So in that case, just go find it for yourself. Look it up online. Um, if you can't get the deals that I get, I don't know what else to tell you, you know. Um, but gun shows, gun shows, gun shows. Everybody asks where I get them. Gun shows. Have fun. Take it easy. Um, but that being said, I just wanted you guys to uh, know that um, there'll be a lot more coming your way. And um, I appreciate you guys. And as I said in the beginning of this video um, a week ago, uh, if there's anything in this video that you guys have to say about it, just leave it in the comment section down below. You know, it is my first video. Um, I know I've had a lot of hate on this channel, um, but any type of feedback is good feedback in my opinion. Um, so with that being said, I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and end the video here and um, hope you guys have a uh, good week this week. Have a good one.